How is it that Christian apologists and mainline scholars of the New Testament can disagree on everything about the Gospels except when they were written? Bart Ehrman published his eighth edition of the New Testament, a historical introduction in 2024. A lot has changed in the book, but not the dates. Mark is still after 70 AD. Matthew is 80 to 100 AD, as is Luke. John, finally, is around 100. The other Gospels, such as the Gospels of Peter and Thomas, we are told, are, quote, much later than the events they narrate and are highly legendary, end quote. What's really going on here? Ehrman is a critical scholar, but he's supporting dates that conservatives can happily live with. This late first century dating of the four gospels has become modern academic orthodoxy. This consensus hides the fact that date ranges for the gospels are incredibly wide, reaching anywhere from the 40s to the 160s. How is it that one scholar can date the gospel according to Mark to 45 AD and another to 145? What goes into dating the texts of the gospels and those of the New Testament more broadly? You can search far and wide for an academic course focusing on the dating of the gospels. You might find a seminary, divinity school, or theology department willing to teach you gospel scholarship. You can saw off your leg, then your arm to get into the course. If it's a conservative Bible college, you can leave your brain at the door as well, because they're just going to give you more rehash from the church fathers about mythical apostolic figures, names Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 